heard you had a rough preseason, you know, we're out sick and stuff. And kind of what was that like? How are you feeling now? And what's it like to be back in the starting lineup when, you know, you uh, obviously were used to starting? Uh, so I got quarantined um, due to con close contact. And, and, you know, it was hard because uh, it was in the middle of fall camp. It was, you know, kind of during the, the heat of, you know, trying to win spots and, and everyone's working really hard on their craft. And you're not, you're not too worried about other opponents yet. So uh, it was upsetting, but I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is. And uh, the guys in the line, uh, with or without me, they, they love the way they work, love the way they, you know, they attack everything. Uh, so that's just kind of how it went and how it is. What's it like being back in the lineup and how do you think you've been playing? Uh, it's nice to play. I love playing. That's why everybody comes to college. That's why you come to Arkansas. And you, you play, you want to play in the SEC. Uh, but it's not, you know, I don't just, I'm just not here. I'm not playing to, to play. You know, we want to win games. We want to, you know, be a good old line. So that's the goal. It's not about playing time. I, I got some more, but I'll pass it around. Thanks. Yeah, Ty, I mean, you, you're a, a senior, two-year starter. I mean, how, how tough was it those first couple of games, not being able to play? And, and what was your mindset to, in practice that, that eventually made the coaches uh, get you in the game? Well, uh, you know, watching those guys play, uh, you know, obviously, I really, you know, want to play, want to be on the field, want to be part of the difference, part of the win. And then, you know, I uh, didn't play Mississippi State. We won the game. And I would rather – you know, not play and win with this group of guys every day. But, you know, obviously playing is, you know, it's huge. It's a lot of fun. Curtis. Hey, Ty, you're a guy that's been around for a few years now and gone through some of the struggles of the past couple of years. This, what does it mean to you to, to be able to be a part of this team turning around, especially now that you're back out on the field really contributing to that? Growing up here in Fayetteville and then playing here for the past couple of years, going through kind of the, the struggles the team went through, it's, I mean, it's so exciting, especially for, for my class. Uh, I mean, just, you know, some of the guys that came in with Shane, Clinton, and Wagner, I mean, it's, you know, we were, everybody's so happy with, you know, the wins we've already gotten. But, every you know, now it's like, you know, you got to get more. You know, you want more. It's no one's satisfied. All right. Hey, Ty, um, you know, you've, You've been around, like Andrew was saying, for a long time now. And just how do you feel that this offensive group works um, so well compared to maybe in the past? And then what are some things during this bye week that you guys really are stressing? Uh, so for the O-line, which I, you know, I feel a lot more comfortable speaking for, is uh, how, how hard these guys work and how hard, you know, we, we all, how much we love each other in that room. We're, I mean, we're not just in the building together and then we go home and hang out with our other friends. You know, we're each other's you know, best friends for the most part. So I think that has a big deal to do with it. And uh, yeah, sorry. Ty Richardson. Ty, so far this season, y'all really haven't had a lot of explosive plays. You guys are tied for last in the country and rushes of 20 plus yards or more. Has that been kind of a leveled emphasis this week uh, heading into next week against Texas A&M, creating his big holes and creating explosive plays for the run game? Yeah, so we, I mean, the O-line, we we want more than anybody else on the team to, to hit those big runs. I mean, that, that's probably one of the most exciting plays for, for me. And we are, I mean, the O-line, the guys in the room, I really want to put an emphasis on on creating those big plays uh, and executing blocking assignments to the whistle so we can make those plays happen. And so we're kind of taking this week to obviously look at a and our next opponent, but also take, you know, look at ourselves and, and really try and, and fix this issue and, and create something. Bob. Yeah, Ty, I had a two-parter here, if that's okay. Um, one, you know, it's been kind of a rough start for Rakeem. Obviously, Georgia's, you know, they're a great defense, and then he got hurt. And, you know, he, he had some good runs last week, but still hadn't really busted out like you'd expect. Um, what do you think you guys got to do to get Rakeem going? And do you think maybe 
an extra week will help get him going? Or what, what do you think about Rakeem? Rakeem works super hard, and he, you know, he wants to run the ball, and obviously he's a really hard runner. Uh, in the O line, we, we got to start executing better, I think. And, uh, you know, those plays are going to happen, especially with either of those, with any of our backs in. I, you know, I trust that they, you know, they're going to make a play. And so we've, we've got to give them an the opportunity to make that play. Ty, at, at what point maybe during the, the preseason, the offseason, did you realize that, that things were going to be different this year, that y'all were going to be uh, competitive and, and, win, and win some games? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. I would say probably, you know, you could feel it in fall camp and how the, the competition would go. And then, you know, you could feel it. And then when we played, you know, our first game week, you, I mean, you know, you could tell things were different this year. And then, you know, when you beat Ole Miss, or not Ole Miss, when you beat Mississippi State and you get that first win, I think that's when things really, you know, a lot of guys on the team were like, oh, you know, you know, we can be good, we can win games. And it was no longer, you know, the, oh, they just scored on us, but, you know, oh, let's get this, you know, let's go. Alyssa. Hello again. Uh, yeah, kind of piggybacking tie off of what Andrew just asked you, but the fact now that this Arkansas team is getting so much attention nationally, uh, gaining respect again, and just seeing people talk about Arkansas with a sense of excitement, you know, what, what does that mean as, as a player and as a part of this program for so long? It's, it's fun to, to get the attention and to, you know, hear the praise. Uh, but I mean, you kind of have to, you know, ignore it. You know, we've only won two games. We're two and two right now. And uh, there's six more games left in the year. And it's more about what are we going to do with the next six games rather than what we've already done with the first four. Bob. This big bar comes across, and you can't hit the mute till it leaves. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hey, going against the defense in practice and seeing what they're doing in games, uh, well, what's your take on those guys and the success they're having, what, what it means to you all? Our defense, to me, is probably one of the most exciting defenses in the country to watch right now. Uh, I mean, they're, they've been excellent playing against them. You know, they're, they're extremely tough. That's what we went against all fall camp, and it's – I don't know. It's exciting to see those guys fly around and how much, you know, they, I mean, they, I mean, they just work and they, they go out there and they, they, they execute on defense. It's awesome. Yeah. I, I got one more if that's okay. Um, you know, I, I guess A&M's got an open date too. I think you guys have an open date. Um, have you guys started doing anything on A&M yet? And obviously I think it's been eight year, eight game losing streak to them. So, Obviously, nobody on the team right now has ever beaten them. What, what's kind of your feeling about how that series has gone and, and uh, you know, facing the Aggies? Well, so, yeah, we, we've uh, started A&M. Uh, we're not going to, you know, uh, just, you know, throw everything in. Uh, bye week is, you know, time to get healthy, the time to, you know, kind of rest your bodies a little bit, but also work on a lot of fundamental, a lot of mental errors that we have. And then, you know, with the losing – streak it's you know it's it's something that you know guys talk about uh but it's you know we just got to play a &M. we got to play best last one ty richardson ty kind of seems like based on what you just said that you guys are just treating this as another game but to bob's point it's been eight straight losses it's been 3307 days you mentioned being from Fayetteville so you probably know about the Arkansas A&M rivalry history how do you guys keep that in focus that it's just another game rather than read the press clippings that it's much more than just that uh, that's, a, that's a tough question good question it's you know it's right now it's the next game it's a it's a trophy game it's something you know that that we want to we want to take home the trophy and we want to end the streak but i don't think uh you know you can let that overwhelm what the what it is 
uh, I think you can't prepare for one opponent more or less just because of a trophy. You got to take everybody the same and treat every every team game as just the next game, the game you got to win.